Do you know how the government of India earns its income? What is the main source of it? How does it all work? I'm Neha Vashisht Mahajan and in today's Learn the Budget with ET video, I'm going to tell you all about it. Like an individual's income mainly comes from salary or profit, a government's income mainly comes from taxes of various types. Then other smaller sources of income accrue regularly. So what is the main source of income in the union budget? The money the union government gets is called receipts. Now these are two types of receipts, revenue and capital. Revenue receipts are chiefly the taxes the government collects and that includes direct as well as indirect taxes. Personal income tax and taxes on profit of private companies are the main direct taxes. They also include capital gains tax and wealth tax. The GST with the center's share in it is an indirect tax. Then there are excise and customs duties collected by the union government. Tax cuts or hikes are politically sensitive measures. Large cuts in corporate tax are generally unpopular and are seen as the government favouring the rich. But they could be needed to boost production and investment in a sluggish private sector. Personal income tax cuts, especially for the people at the bottom, are often aimed at reducing the impact of inflation on salaried and small business taxpayers. Now coming to selling and borrowing, there are non-tax revenue receipts too, such as profit from PSUs, interest on loans given by the government, fines and penalties, and foreign aid. Another major source of revenue receipts is fees on services provided by the government, such as telecom spectrum. Revenue receipts create no liabilities for the government, nor do they reduce its assets. But there are receipts that do, and those receipts are called capital receipts. One example is the money that comes from this investment, the selling of the PSUs. Accrual of this money reduces the government's assets. Borrowings too are capital receipts since they create a liability of debt. In the budget 2023-24, borrowings constituted 34% of total receipts. They also signify the fiscal deficit, the gap between income and expenditure, which the government fills mainly by borrowings. This investment is another way of reducing the deficit, but often the government is unable to meet its disinvestment targets set in the budget. One challenge is to find buyers who pay the right amount of money. Many times, disinvestment targets are stretched solely to fill the gap that remains after the government has projected all the income and borrowings.